and welcome to another edition of Canopedia where we are bringing to you honest and unbiased cannabis strain reviews. So today we are going to be reviewing Peach Crescendo by The Flower Shop. Now for those of you who have never tried Peach Crescendo like me, let's go ahead and talk about this strain. So I don't know if you have checked out the Crescendo strain review from Colorado Grow Company, but if not, stop this video right now and go watch that video so you can tell what you're in for for this one. But let's talk about this strain. This is a indica dominant strain. It is a 60% indica, 40% uh, sativa, so more of an indica dominant strain that is a cross between peach rings, Chemdog, I-95, and Mandarin cookies. A quad cross, you guys, to create this strain. This stuff from the flower shop, this peach crescendo, is testing out at 24.2%, so this should also pack a major bang. I cannot wait to try this peach crescendo because I loved the crescendo by Colorado Grow Company. So before we go ahead and jump into this review, let's bring it up on the screen for you guys to check out and then we're going to go ahead and take a look at it together. Okay, so what did you guys think of this Peach Crescendo by The Flower Shop? Pretty crazy looking bud, huh? So let me go ahead and pop the top open for this thing and wow. That is an interesting flavor. Let's look at this stuff. Oh my gosh, this is some beautiful, beautiful herb, you guys. Wow, is it hairy. It is so freaking hairy, it's ridiculous. You guys, look at this. Look at that. Light lime green, some dark green interwoven, kind of coming from the, the leaves there. It is covered in hairs. There's some that are peach, there's some that are orange, there's some that are yellow. Um, and underneath all of that, I see a great amount of trichomes. Now, I'll tell you, for me, I think the hairs are in bigger proportion to the trichomes for sure. There's no question about it. But honest to God, like, it is really good looking stuff. This stuff looks mouthwatering. And I'm going to tell you, the smell on this that I am getting, it's like this, um, it's, Kind of a light, subtle peach. I am smelling some of the mandarin cookies there as well. But it's a little subtle, to be honest. Like, I know when I first popped the top, and this is like how the top came, and I popped that when I did the Penny Pinterest test. That's what I start filming with. I got that cookies. The flavor is starting to die. And honestly, I have to really stick my nose in it to get it. And the other thing is when I broke and ground this herb up, it didn't really release any more flavor. It actually got a little more subdued, which was really shocking. But what I want to do before we actually get into breaking uh, up this bud and actually puffing it is get to the penny pinchers test. So let's see if the flower shop is giving you 3.5 grams in your jar. So here comes the penny pincher test now. Okay, so the time has come for the penny pinchers test. Let's see if this peach crescendo, it says it weighs 3.5 grams by the flower shop actually weighs 3.5 grams. So let's get the scale turned on. I'm going to put a dollar bill on there. This should weigh exactly one gram. Any discrepancy will be accounted for. Okay, so you guys, we have a 0 0.02 gram discrepancy, which means whatever I put on here today is just going to be 0 0.02 more than we see. So I just want to show you again, here is the flower shop jar. Here it is sealed with the tin on it. And listen, I'll just pop this top right here. You guys heard it pop right there. So now the bud is opened up. Let's go ahead and get this teared out. And let's get this peach crescendo on the scale and see. 
All right, so 3.54 grams. That is how you pass the penny pinchers test. Big ups to my boys at the flower shop for ensuring accurate scale weights. And you guys see, let's just, you know what? I'm gonna give it to them, you guys. I'm gonna say 3.55 grams. It might've went up a little bit when I touched down on the buds there, but 3.55 grams for the peach crescendo from the shop, flower shop. That is a hard pass. That is how it's done. For all of you companies who haven't passed the penny pinchers test, ask the flower shop who calibrates their scales or what scales they're are using you guys 3.55 grams big up to the flower shop um honestly you guys i'm really still very excited to try this stuff um you know the flower shop really really was doing a great job i've tried a couple of their strains before and yeah i man i wish the flavors were more and, and more potent in here and let me give you a freshness test here so the buds are still Pretty fresh, they're malleable, which is good. And look at it, it's sticking to my finger, which means it's sticky. I really, really like that. That is great, great. So, wow. Yeah, I, I, it's like I wish it had more terps because these terps are just lacking. And I mean, the fact that I kind of had to press op on the buds to get them to release some of the flavor. I love that the bud's sticking to my finger like that, but I don't know. I, I don't, I'm not impressed with the, the smell, to be honest. Um, just uh, the initial smell. I mean, it was really pungent when I first opened it, and then it just, it's died. It's just com continued to die. That's kind of a shame. Um, but honestly, I'm still stoked to try this stuff. So today, I'm going to be enjoying this Peach Crescendo out of my Airizer Extreme Q desktop vaporizer. I've got this bad boy set to 375 degrees Fahrenheit, as you guys see right there. I've got my whip. That is just the silicone tube that gets the vapor from the actual vaporizer itself to me. The end with the screen, that's going right on top of the bowl that sits on top of the vaporizer. The other end is going into my Scientific Inhalation triple filtered bubbler. Now, I'm only using two of the filtration chambers, the distilled water in the second and the uh, organic cotton filter in the third. That'll filter out any remaining impurities that didn't get purged out in the final stages of growing. I left the first chamber, which sits in the down stem empty. That actually, typically, you'd put some carbon in there and prevent ash from reaching the water but we're not using uh, any flame today so no ash is getting in this water so if you guys are ready to burn down let's go ahead and puff and see what this peach crescendo is all about okay <coughs> didn't get a whole lot of vapor on that one you guys just a subtle sweetness I'm diving back in for the second rip I may have to take three on this video just so you guys know lot more vapor produced and I had like <coughs> almost a little citrusy pinch kind of um, coming through on that um, so like it which didn't make it for me as smooth as it possibly could have been um, I'm getting some sweetness though it's got to be from that peach but I'm gonna dive back in for this third rip and see if I can't figure out and point out what flavors I was looking for there, um, you know, that it seems to be missing something. <coughs> so that one was definitely a bit thicker and the flavor did start to change on me. This was now a little more creaminess. It was like that last one was missing a little something. Um, this one is starting to develop and change. So I'm curious to see where this flavor goes. So while I am finishing out this bowl, I wanna bring this stuff up on the screen for you guys to check out under the magnification of a 25 times macro lens so you can get a little bit of a better up close and personal view of this stuff. So here it is comes now okay so you are looking at the peach crescendo by the flower shop and oh my god the star of today's show are these orange hairs you guys they are everywhere they are riddled they even have their own trichomes on them and do you guys see how bright and orange they are towards the bottom and then kind of sprawling even as you go up towards the bud they get shorter they get lighter they start turning yellowy and then you've got that 
bomb bud that's got that quintessential neon green mixed with a little of the dark evergreen color that was trimmed beautifully. All of these leaves were trimmed right up to the bud. Absolutely didn't go through an auto trim machine. And then look just in the center of this bud at all of the trichomes. They are covering this bud. Honestly, I think this stuff just looks absolutely killer. Okay, so what do you guys think of this peach crescendo under that macro lens, you guys. You know, I'll tell you, this review really has me reeling here because I just finished puffing some of this and there's areas that I thought it was really going to hit um, that, you know, it did, others that it, it didn't. And, you know, it was just all over the place for me. And honestly, there's a lot I want to talk through with this strain because I think from the looks all the way down to the potency, like this one's kind of all over the place. So truthfully, I don't know that this one's gonna appeal to everybody, but you know, let's go ahead and kind of get right into it. So the way I do my ratings, you guys, all the strains are rated on a scale from zero to 10, zero being the worst, 10 being the absolute best. I break it down to four different categories, look, smell, taste, and potency. And then I will assign up to 2.5 points each in each of those respective categories. We'll tally up the total at the end, and I'll give you guys my final rating on this stuff. So I want to start by talking about the look, bag appeal, jar appeal, or in this case, it was a tin. So tin appeal of this peach crescendo. So I'm going to bring it up on the screen one last time for you guys to check out. And then we're going to go ahead and get right into my final review. Okay, so this is pretty easy. When it comes to the looks, you guys, I mean, you know, here it is, you guys. This is what the bud looks like. This is just using the backlight of my ring light that is lighting me right now. And honestly, you guys see, it's good looking stuff. And you know, it's crystally, it's hairy. I mean, I'm not going to say it's the best looking bud I've ever seen, but it's like, the thing is, you can't compare everything to the best bud that you've ever seen and say, oh, it's going to be a 2.5. Like, this, for what it is, is a 2.5. It's hairy. It's crystally. I wish it was a little more crystally. Kona's got an itch right now, uh, my dog. And you guys, I think the thing is with this is that, like, it doesn't deserve a 2.0 and it doesn't might quite not deserve a 2.5, but I have to give it to him. I got to give him a 2.5 because I don't do any half points here on my channel. So I'm going to say 2.5 out of 2.5. Now, the thing is they nitrogen seal these jars, which like it pops when you pop the top. And I smelled it when that first popped. But now I'm like, is this like dog pebbles or like something like that? Like it just smells like a tin with no weed in it. That shouldn't be the case. Like, and when I ground it up, the fact that the flavors didn't come out more, I mean, what I smelled it at first was nice. It was nice, sweet, uh, cookie smell. Um, you know, and there was something else there too, kind of like, uh, um, you know, the, from the peach and it was the sweetness, I'm sure. But I'll tell you that now it's just died so much. Even when I pull out a bud, like if I pull out a bud and again, and I press on it, right in front of my nose. I'm getting an earthy. Really, I'm just getting earthy. Like it's almost might be too fresh, you guys. Um, truthfully though, I don't know if that's such a thing. I mean, this bud is fresh though. The fact that it's extremely malleable. And again, it wasn't ultra sticky. So, you know, that's why I say, I don't think the resin and terpene, um, you know, count like how many terpenes and how much THC was actually on this, where it tested out. I don't think it was all, you know, all that high, honestly. I'm guessing this is the total THC, probably not the total active THC because any bud that's over 22%, that other crescendo I had was about 22%, I believe, or 23%, and I was on the moon. So like, I don't know. Um, but we're still talking about the, the, the smell of it. Um, and the smell for me is just too subtle. Um, when it was there, it was good. But there's room for improvement, and I'm only going to give it a 1.5, and I think that's honestly being generous. I think a 1.5 is generous on the smell because it's really, really subtle after you open the jar and then put the, you know, it's just earthy. It's just earthy, kind of a sweet earthy, a barely sweet earthy. Um, now the taste. 
This is another one where I'm like, I just don't think it hit for me in the right areas. The flavor, <coughs> excuse me, was there for the first couple. Like I was having some subtle sweetness from the peach rings. Um, you know, I was a little bit of the cookies. I was waiting to try to find that chem dog, the gassiness from the, you know, the chem dog. I'm not sure the strain breakdown of I-95. I really got to look into that. Um, but it, it just, it didn't hit. I mean, it was good, but it didn't hit and it wasn't flavorful enough and aromatic enough. And it was citrusy at the beginning, which I didn't like. And it just wasn't as smooth as I thought it should have been. So honestly, in this category too, I only feel comfortable giving the taste a 1.5 uh, as well. But the potency, this stuff is clean medicine. I am not going to lie, you guys. I have a good balance feeling. Probably, honestly, a 60-40 is exactly where this is sitting. My mind is kind of chilled out. My body is definitely chilled out. Nice and clear and focused. It's absolutely effective medicine, but it's just not going to be the most potent medicine you'll ever have for sure. I definitely can tell this is going to be just clean and smooth. I'm curious how long the duration is. Um, but for me, it's a 2.0 in the potency. So it's a 2.5 in the look. It's a 1.5 in the smell, 1.5 in the taste and a 2.0 in the potency. You guys, this is an 8.0. Honestly, I, I think, excuse me, 8.0. This is a 7.5. A 7.5, and honest to God, I think that's really where this is. I don't think it is quite an 8.0. There's just missing in too many different categories, I think, for me to give this an 8, even though it's it could be rounded up to an 8, honestly, because I was going back and forth, just so you guys know in the taste category to give this a 2. I was really, really was, just because it was flavorful, um, you know, enough but and 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 it lasted you know until the flavor just died but it should have lasted longer in all honesty for how big of a bowl i packed the flavor should have lasted a bit longer but like i don't know for me the flavor wasn't dynamic enough there was still some room for improvement it could have been a bit smoother overall um and yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it's a 2.0. So, um, seven in the, uh, potency, um, 7.5. You guys still going to recommend this strain. Absolutely. They're going to get the can Canopedia thumbs up recommendation, but let's go to my personal and we'll recommend anything you guys over a 7.0 or above on our channel, just so you guys know. But like for me personally, would I go out and spend, I think it's 45 or 50 bucks for one of these eights from the flower shop. Absolutely not. You know, I wouldn't go back and buy this again at 50 bucks. There's just no prayer. Um, there's a lot better bud that you can find for that price. So like, I wouldn't go back for this peach crescendo, but again, it was still a good smoke. Um, great staff and they're very, very knowledgeable people, you guys. Um, and honestly, if you're looking for something, you know, different, you've got some money to blow, try the peach crescendo. But if you can find the regular crescendo, if you're out in California, excuse me, Colorado, and you're in Durango, go to the Colorado Grow Company and ask if they have any crescendo. That is a 10 out of 10, you guys. We don't find them often like needles and haystacks around here. But you guys, with that being said, let me know if you've tried out this peach crescendo by the flower shop. And then let me know if there's something you guys want to see reviewed in the comments below. But thank you so much for the support. And until the next one, you guys, take care of yourselves and one another. And I will see you guys soon. Peace.